So I want to go and see Royal Library Hotel. I mean, this is the simple thing you cannot do. Madam, this is what you cannot do. You guys still want to see the movie? Will you be sharing my six? Yeah, I'll be sharing my six. No, it's for five and for six. Um, what do you get? Uh, you get petals on the floor like this. You get you get cinematic You get popcorn. You get comedy. Welcome to my channel. It's so good to be back with you guys. It's the first time I'm doing a movie review, so I need you to please thumbs up if you like this video. I'll be doing a movie review of Royal Ibiscus Hotel. Royal Ibiscus Hotel is by Ebony Life TV. The lead actress was Zena Balogun. So if you've seen Wedding Party 1, you would have noticed her. She was the wedding planner. The lead male character was Kenneth. Royal Ibiscus Hotel is a simple story. I mean, it's about love, deceit, passion, and money. If you put all those elements together, you're supposed to make the storyline juicy. It's just a simple story of a young, beautiful woman working who feels like, oh, I need to come home and do my own thing, and she doesn't just want to come home and do her own thing. She actually does resign. The beginning was quite fast. Another thing that struck me was how everybody's role was simple. It was not a movie that had so many actors jam packed in it. No. Yes, some of them had dialogue, some of them did not have dialogue, but it was interesting. The, the costume fell in line with it. It is a comedy romance, so you have a lot of laughter. It makes you laugh from the dressing to the language to the setting. You need to check out Richard Oniga, who is Okwe's mom. You need to check out her dressing. She had feathers, one very puffy hand. I got what they were trying to do, but because it is comedy, the dressing was in sync with it. And another character that really killed it was Chica, Kemilala. She had this, her makeup was, it was out of this world. If you were standing a mile, you can see the blush glowing. She had the air. And in line with it being comedy, her interpretation of the role was really hilarious. You'll find the scenes where she was trying to seduce the lead actor. This movie just shows Lagos. If you see this movie, then you're not hungry. For the person I'm sitting down here, once I finish this thing, I'm going to eat. The editing was beautiful. All the throwing in that chef does, the splashing of food, it was beautiful. It was really, really, really good. It was. Another part that nailed it was the first day. Oh, I mean, I'm big on romance and all those things and dates. So for the first date, Okpe goes out with the lead actor. And then who she later finds out that, oh, okay, the part of the deceit is that it's buying her father's property, but she does not know. It's just an interesting story. Now they had this dinner at Echo Signature. The view, this was just beautiful, just both of them. A red dress was stunning. And like I said earlier, Olu Jacobs and Joker Silva. And I didn't know that they were in the movie until I got to their scene. So I was asking myself, what role are they playing? Are they like grandparents to Okpe or they are guests in the hotel? It kind of didn't click in my head, although I got the plan that they've been married for 35 years and they love each other and they were doing it everywhere, every corner, I got that part. But I didn't get what they were supposed to do, they didn't get. And one recurring theme, if you compare it with other Ebony Life movies they've done, and I'm comparing it with Wedding Party 1 and Wedding Party 2, is the fact that they always present this thing about couples whereby the wife knows nothing about the financial state of the family. She thinks they have money, but meanwhile, they are broke. In Wedding Party 1, you saw it. To her, they had the money. So when Okpe comes back into Lagos from London, she starts planning a wedding for Okpe. Sorry, darling. He is taken. And I'm like, okay, this is something that actually happens in Nigerian marriage and we really need to discuss it. Why do we have marriages where the husbands and wife are not very clear on financial aspects? You think that your husband has money, you why there's no money, or the husband thinks that the wife has money and there's no money. Another actor who was played by Dayemi, Dayemi actually killed this role. Hey, what you need is money, not assurance. He played the role of, I came to see you this deal, I don't care about your emotions, you know how those your bad demons behave. Something else that stood out for me was the language. The language was clear, you had Akan. Okpe falls in love with the investor. The decent part was everybody had a plan in this movie and it's just interesting to know that how as a family, if you don't communicate, 
things can go wrong. Now I'm relating it to a family setting. I like to relate to movies and books to families and to different things going on in life because that's how that's how we learn from it. If you don't communicate, everybody has a plan and an agenda. Okwa is coming back to Lagos to work in her father's hotel because that's always been a dream. The father is selling the hotel without telling the mother, who he later told, but that's when Okwa has already come back. The mother wants Okwa to come back, not because Okwa is going to pursue her dreams or follow her dreams, but the mother wants Okwa to come back because she wants to marry Okwa off. Another reoccurring theme in this movie, the Nigerian setting and the Yoba family setting, is how mothers always put pressure on their daughter no matter how well they are doing to get married how time is going your mates are gotten married age is passing you by you have that theme again playing out in this movie where the mother Rachel Oniga who is Rose in the movie tries to join the two loves bed together she's happy that Kenneth is interested in Okwe Felix the role of Felix is played by Osi who has always according to the conversation has always had a thing for Okwe but it was friend zoned and the chemistry between them was also great the movie ended really nice. Okwe and Loverboy, an investor, finally did kiss. Okay, no, they already kissed, they kissed, they kissed. Had a second kiss and he, he bought the hotel in her name. And she came back, she was going to come back to Nigeria to continue the family business. Her parents got the hotel, got 350 million era. And the mother was willing to persuade the daughter on why they were selling the hotel. I mean, 350 million is a, is a whole lot of money. The movie ended on a very good note. For me, I would say you can go to and see this movie with your friends. I went with my friends. It was nice. It's not thin techy. It's nothing hard. It's nothing difficult. It's easy to understand. The scenes were shot nicely. The overview of the hotel. I had to ask myself, where in Lagos is this again? And that our nice, famous Ikoyi bridge was showing, the first date. The characters, everybody nailed it. Shout out to Lala, who played the role of Chica. Shout out to Deyemi, who played the role of Martins. Shout out to everybody in the movie. I really hope you take out time to go and watch with your friends, family, and loved ones. If you've seen it, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I always like to meet new people on this channel, so please leave a comment in the comment section. If you want me to do things like this, this is the first one I'm doing. So. Be nice to me when you criticize me, please. Thank you very much. This is my first one, but I hope I look forward to bringing more and doing new content. Thank you so much for sticking around with me. I love you, and you definitely rock my world. Have an amazing day. And please...